All right, just imagine this. You look up at the night sky and wait. The moon is getting bigger and bigger until, oh no, it's not just close. It's on a collision course with Earth. What would actually happen if the moon crashed into our planet? Buckle up because this is going to get wild. First, let's get one thing straight. The moon is huge. It's about a quarter the size of Earth and weighs over 80 billion trillion tons. So if it suddenly started moving towards us, we're not talking about a small rock falling from space. We're talking about a planet scale disaster. Now, as the moon gets closer, its gravity would start wreaking havoc. Tides would become monstrous. Imagine 100 meter high waves crashing onto the coasts. Cities near the ocean, gone. The constant tidal forces would trigger earthquakes and volcanic eruptions all over the world. The ground would literally shake beneath our feet. But here's where it gets even crazier. As the moon spirals in, it would probably break apart because of Earth's gravity, creating a ring of blazing hot debris, kind of like Saturn's rings. But don't get your hopes up about a pretty new sky. These chunks of moon wouldn't stay up there for long. They'd rain down, bombarding the surface with impacts bigger than anything the dinosaurs ever saw. The energy released? We're talking about the equivalent of millions of nuclear bombs detonating at once. Forests would ignite, oceans would boil, and the very air could become unbreathable. Mega tsunamis hundreds of meters high would surge across continents. The shock waves would flatten entire cities. And ultimately, when the biggest pieces finally hit, the impact would be so powerful, it could strip away Earth's atmosphere, melt the crust, and turn the planet's surface into an ocean of lava. Life as we know it, gone in a matter of hours. Now here's a twist. If any humans somehow survived, they'd be living in a world without tides, without nights lit by moonlight, and probably without much hope. But before you panic, here's the good news. This scenario is almost impossible. The moon is slowly drifting away from Earth, not towards it. So, your midnight walks are safe, for now. But doesn't it just blow your mind how much power is hanging over us in the night sky? It's a reminder of how fragile and how epic our planet really is. If you enjoyed this cosmic catastrophe, drop a like and let me know what other what-if questions you want to see next. Until then, keep looking up and appreciate that peaceful distant moon. All right, let's get real for a second. The moon landing hoax theory. You've heard it, I've heard it, and chances are your uncle has a whole folder about it on his computer. But what does NASA actually say when people claim Apollo 11 never happened? Let's dig into the facts, the myths, and the downright wild ideas. First up, the big one. If we really went to the moon, why haven't we gone back? NASA's answer, it's not because it was fake. It's because it was incredibly expensive, dangerous, and honestly, after the initial missions, public interest, and government funding faded. Space exploration is hard, and once you've planted the flag, politicians tend to think, mission accomplished. Now, the famous flag waving. You've seen the videos. The flag looks like it's fluttering. People say, no wind on the moon, so it must be a studio. But NASA's response? There's a horizontal rod holding the flag up. When the astronauts twist it into the ground, the fabric moves and ripples. And with no air resistance, those ripples keep going. It's physics at play, not a hidden fan. What about the shadows? Critics point to weird long shadows and ask, isn't that studio lighting? NASA explains. On the moon, you've got sunlight reflecting off the ground, the astronauts' white suits, and the lunar module itself. All that bouncing light creates unusual shadows. If you actually measure the angles, they match what you'd expect outside not under studio lights. Here's another classic. Why aren't there any stars in the photos? Simple answer, camera exposure. The astronauts needed to use fast shutter speeds because the moon's surface is so bright. That means the faint light of stars doesn't show up. If you've ever tried taking a photo of the night sky with your phone, you know how tricky that can be. One more. How did the astronauts survive the Van Allen radiation belts? NASA's engineers designed the Apollo spacecraft to zip through the belts quickly, minimizing exposure. The total radiation dose was actually pretty low, like having a couple of chest X-rays. Not exactly superpowers, but definitely survivable. Now look, skepticism is healthy. I get it, science is all about questions. But when you actually dig into the details, the moon landing hoax falls apart. All the gotchas have scientific, 
well-documented answers and the evidence from thousands of engineers, telemetry data, and even retro reflectors left on the moon that we can still bounce lasers off today is solid. So next time someone says, the moon landing was faked, ask them, which part exactly? And are you ready to dive into some real science? Because for all its mysteries, the moon landing is one giant leap that really did happen. Stay curious, keep questioning, but don't forget to check the facts. I've always wondered what would happen if gravity just vanished. One moment, everything's normal, and the next, chaos. But what exactly would that chaos look like? Well, today we're going to find out. We're about to dive into a world where the fundamental force that keeps us grounded doesn't exist anymore. Are you ready? Because things are about to get weird. The moment gravity disappears, everything not firmly attached to the Earth's surface would start to float away. And I mean everything. Your coffee mug, your cat, your neighbor's car, and even you. But it's not just small objects. Entire oceans would begin to rise, creating a spectacular but terrifying sight of water lifting into the sky. Buildings, trees, and even mountains would start to crumble and break apart, their structures no longer held together by the downward pull we've always taken for granted. But what about us? Well, we'd be in for quite a ride. Without gravity, our bodies would experience some interesting changes. Our blood, no longer pulled towards our feet, would redistribute more evenly throughout our bodies. Sounds nice, right? Well, not so fast. This would cause our faces to puff up and our legs to shrink. And forget about walking, we'd be floating aimlessly, desperately trying to grab onto anything solid. Now you might think, at least we can breathe, right? Um, about that. Our atmosphere, no longer held close to the Earth's surface by gravity, would start to dissipate into space. Within minutes, the air would become too thin to breathe, and as the atmosphere escapes, so does our protection from the sun's harmful radiation and space debris. Earth would quickly become uninhabitable. But the effects wouldn't stop at Earth's surface. Our planet's orbit around the sun? Gone. We'd start drifting away into space along with all the other planets. The moon? It would no longer be our faithful companion, instead wandering off on its own cosmic journey the entire solar system as we know it would cease to exist. And it gets even bigger. Stars, no longer held together by their own gravity, would explode, scattering their matter across the universe. Galaxies would disintegrate, their billions of stars flying apart like cosmic confetti. The universe as we know it would become a vast, ever-expanding cloud of particles, with no structures, no planets, no anything, really. So there you have it. A world, no, a universe without gravity. It's a scenario that reminds us just how crucial this invisible force is to our very existence. Gravity doesn't just keep us grounded, it shapes the cosmos, allows planets and stars to form, and ultimately makes life possible. But here's a thought to leave you with. What other fundamental forces are out there, silently governing our reality? And how might our universe change if they disappeared? All right, let's imagine something wild. What if tomorrow the moon just, no warning, no explosion, just gone? Sure, it might sound like science fiction, but let's break down what would actually happen to life on Earth. First off, you'd notice the night sky looks weirdly empty. No more moonlight shining down. But that's just the beginning. Let's talk about tides. The moon's gravity pulls at Earth's oceans, creating those daily high and low tides. If the moon disappeared, that pull vanishes. Suddenly, ocean tides shrink to about a third of their usual size because only the sun's gravity is left. That might sound convenient, less flooding, right? But tides do so much more. Tidal movements stir up nutrients in the ocean, feeding tiny life forms at the bottom of the food chain. Without strong tides, those nutrients just settle. Marine life starts to struggle. Fisheries could collapse. Whole ecosystems would change, and not for the better. But that's still just the start. The moon also acts like a giant stabilizer for Earth. Right now, Earth's tilt is kept steady by the moon's gravity. Take the moon away, and Earth's axis starts to wobble. A lot. Over thousands of years, this could shift our climate wildly. Imagine deserts turning into ice fields or vice versa. It'd be chaos for any animals or humans trying to adapt. And here's something most people don't think about. Without the moon, our nights get darker. That affects nocturnal animals. 
Some predators rely on moonlight to hunt. Others hide from it. Take away the moon and you scramble those delicate balances. Plus, we'd probably lose a little bit of wonder from our lives. No more full moons, no more lunar eclipses. Human cultures everywhere would feel that loss. So what if the moon disappeared tomorrow? It wouldn't destroy Earth in an instant, but everything would change. Oceans, weather, animals, even our own history and myths, they'd all be shaken up. Next time you glance up at the moon, remember. It's not just a pretty face in the sky. It's holding our world together in more ways than you might think.